I'm a teacher, but in real life, I'm a teacher, but one of my passions would be producing game shows. It's a story that started when I was six months old. I was told the story, my mom put me uh, in a playpen or like a chair for babies and put me in front of the TV set. And when game shows came on, I would start jumping up and down. I have early memories of watching Jeopardy, Concentration. I probably didn't know what they were doing. I was like three or four, but I guess the scores and the numbers and the lights. Yes, I have all the home games. Started buying them when I was a kid. Some of them you had to be 10 years old and I had to really persuade my parents uh, to get them for me before I turned 10. Uh, I did get on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Uh, I was a little shy with Trivia. I love Jeopardy, love watching it, can answer a few questions, but I'm really not wired for that show. But a friend of mine said, look, millionaires in New York, just go and take the test. So, you know, you got to take the test in the studio audience, and I did, and I passed. And when they called my name, I started screaming. I probably had this big smile, so I aced the personality interview. And I get a postcard that I'm in the contestant pool two weeks later, which was like, I framed that. And uh, I get a call a few weeks later that he want me to come down and be a contestant. And that was an awesome experience. Hey, uh, nice to meet you. English teacher, and I understand you hold down a lot of jobs, right? Yes, English teacher, and I do game shows at a day camp. It's, it's surreal, it really is. You're sitting in the audience and everybody's looking at you. And I was with host Meredith Vieira, who was wonderful. She sends you a little postcard after. Um, and I remember sitting in the hot seat and I couldn't feel my legs. It was crazy. <laughs> but I did win some money. You could see me on YouTube. The game shows were novel. You know, many public access shows or talk shows or cooking shows. And I was never really into that. And I, I didn't know about public access, really. I knew we had the channels. And I'm like, hey, do they have a QPTV in Brooklyn? And we do. It was BCAT. It's now called Brick Arts Media, Brooklyn Free Speech. And uh, that's how I got involved. I walked in there, signed up for a show, uh, and we have the Game Show Block Party. The Game Show Block Party is a game show anthology series where we create our own game shows produced locally. And it started in Queens on QPTV as... Uh, Phil's Game Shows in 2007, early 2007, we did our first show. And um, in Brooklyn, it started towards the end of 2007, we premiered. And also, we uh, took the certification class at Brick, Brick Arts Media, so we could use the mini studio. And that's where we can produce our game shows at the Game Show Block Party. So as an anthology series, it's not one game show format, like you tune in Jeopardy, it's always Jeopardy. Uh, we will present a different original game show of our own every week. So we put our own spin on game shows, which is what other game shows do also, and create them as our own. That's what the Game Show Block Party is, and we will put on any contestants that come our way. People want to play. Uh, we don't have that extraneous uh, audition process that your national game shows have. You want to play, we'll put you on. and. Uh, our new producer, Alex, turned his garage into a studio. So we put up backdrops and uh, we put up sets, lighting. And when you watch it on TV, you really, you really can't tell. It does emulate the look of a studio. Game shows are easy to do. I do the editing. I do it linearly. Uh, not linearly. I use videotape. Uh, Alex and Phil use uh, digital. Totally. My end product does go into the computer digitally because that's how Brick wants it since 2010. We have tons of unseen, usable videos that I could still edit from the day camps. But we have a lot of tapes that we never use that are very usable. Game shows are not dated, but a lot of the things we do on the game shows can air from shows taped five years ago and they were never seen. So I have a lot of material to keep us running for years, but we have new material at our garage studio. 
We were nominated for like seven years. We were like the Susan Lucci of public access because we never won. But it was really a lot of fun and an honor to be nominated. And the next thing I know, it's on TV and I won. We won in the Be Young category. And it's a beautiful award. Crystal, it was such an honor. It's an honor to have that. Uh, for every game show out there, there might be hundreds of people that would love to get involved. Public access is a great way that you can pursue your passion. Anyone can take something they like and make their own show out of it.